Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP benefits, have been expanded for Eastern Kentuckians after this summer's floods. Disaster SNAP or DSNAP and replacement SNAP benefits have been available to families impacted by the floods who normally wouldn't be eligible for SNAP benefits and those that were already receiving SNAP. The benefits that are available for people that were um, receiving food assistance prior to the disaster, they still have a few flexibilities within that program to make sure that they're able to get the food that they need. While DSNAP benefits expired earlier this month, Kentucky Policies Associate Jessica Klein explains that extended benefits and hot meal waivers are still available to people in the region. Um, for example, those families can use what's called um, a hot foods waiver. So they're able to purchase hot foods that would normally be eligible with their SNAP benefits. So for example, they could go to a grocery store and buy uh, rotisserie chicken, which they normally wouldn't be able to buy. Leaders with Kentucky Policy tell me that right now around one fourth of Eastern Kentuckians have already been using some type of food assistance benefit. Now I'm speaking with one advocate inside her home who tells me how important it is that these residents know their access and get signed up. But in the counties that were flood affected, people are still eligible um, and should still be calling and reaching out for more food. Kara Stewart with Kentucky Voices for Health has been in Eastern Kentucky helping people get hot meals, waivers, and signed up for benefits. Now sitting with her own son, she explains how these benefits will continue to help families long term. This is the way to have a more lasting impact than handing somebody a plate. I'm handing people plates of food at the same time asking them if they've enrolled in DSAP at the same time asking them if they got their replacement SNAP because I can't feed them a plate of food every single day, but they can get that plate of food if they're enrolled in, in SNAP and DSNAP. These leaders know there's a stigma around applying for food benefits. Kentucky policy leaders say this is nothing to be ashamed of. Um, you know, the average SNAP participant is a working family. So um, with the, just doesn't earn enough to, to meet the grocery needs of their family size. So, you know, I think it's it's important to remember that working families across Kentucky might need help with food assistance and, you know, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Organizations continuing to help the people of Eastern Kentucky in Lexington, Rachel Richardson, LEX 18 News.